our way to the, the Love Waterfall. It's about a half an hour drive from Supper, maybe a little bit longer in a taxi. Quite a nice drive. way to the Love Waterfall. We bought tickets at the entrance gate, 60, 70,000, I'm not exactly sure which, but that gives you access to this walking trail, which is a set trail. Um, we do it quite often, don't we? Yeah, well, because it's in the forest, and also you uh, go and see uh, the Love Waterfall, so it's pretty good. <laughs> good thing about this, though, is you can come for a few hours, bring a picnic. It's a great half-day exercise. Yeah. Um, but what we tend to do is, as well as this trail, there are lots of little annexes, little trails that you probably do need a guide for. Um, so if you're just on this trail, it's easy. Highly recommend. Beautiful trail. Uh, but then, of course, if you go off the trail, you need a guide. It's an area that's pretty wild. We go foraging a lot, which is lovely. Yeah. Uh, see a couple of different waterfalls. Spin the camera and show you this little stream. It's just idyllic. It's really beautiful. One of the things that when you're walking up to the Love Waterfall, it's not just the river and the forest, but also you can see the wildflowers. It's all over. It's pretty amazing. So as well as the Love Waterfall, there's actually other trails that you can follow. The Love Waterfall is a very obvious set trail, footpath, you don't really need a guide, it has no benefit. Um, but the, the annexes are quite different, I mean this is a muddy jungle trail, it's not marked on any maps, it's very easy to, to lose your bearings, lose your way if you're not sure of it. Um, but the advantage is you get to see some pretty wild jungle, large trees, cardamom forest, it's fantastic, do a bit of foraging. Um, it's possible to see both waterfalls in an afternoon. I think the round trip, including the, the journey up and down, probably five hours total. Uh, but this is a bit more experiential. You're going to get wet. You're going to get muddy. Um, you're more likely to see wildlife. And it's a bit more adventurous. You know, slips and slides are common. The other one's an easy trail. So it's one, the other, or both perhaps. But I just adore this area. Just look at it. It's stunning. Absolutely incredible wild forest. in a minute.
as you see here, when people want to go a little bit of off-road, this is where we take them to go. And a bit in the forest, together is uh, here the animal, and also this is the wild fern. So I just picked some, later we can make some salad and fry it with garlic, it will be very nice. And you can see like a lot of the leaves, maybe I can show you like this one. And the leaves, this is the green one, this is uh, cardamom. So in here, we can grow it because it's under the forest, so it's very fresh. It doesn't like a lot of sun, so that's why 